think you can find that for me. So recently, we took a look at the pickups I got from the Northern Invertebrate Show, and on there I also got an enclosure from Mitch at the Unseen Universe. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing it, setting it up, and taking a closer look at this new enclosure. So as you know, I'm, I'm not that much of a hobbyist when it comes to the jumping spiders and the prey mantis. I'll keep the odd one, but it is starting to grow on me. And as it grows on me, we want to get better enclosures than what you can make yourself at home. That's where this comes in handy here. So this is a mantis enclosure from the Unseen Universe. Mitch has given me this enclosure to do a review on the channel. However, that won't affect my opinions on this. You can rest assured on that. This is a 20 by 15 by 15 enclosure. Let's take it out now. Now I have already took out the, the thermometer and that and put the battery in just to make sure that it works. But apart from that, I haven't taken a look at it. Now, a downside so far is there's no instructions with this enclosure. Now, it's, it doesn't require you to have a high IQ to put it together, but I would have liked uh, a small set of instructions at least to come with it so that if I haven't got access to the internet to look on Mitch's website, I can easily assemble it. So maybe that's something Mitch can sort out in the future is to have some instructions with the enclosures. So we're going to take a look at this now. We are going to assemble it on camera. So it's a fairly simple procedure to put together. We have some rubber bands and some screws. They go onto the enclosure to help it bind together. And that's the door, the magnetic door. You can see the little magnets there. We have the top part of the enclosure is that part, along with that part. We have the base, which is that one. You can see what I'm on about, about having instructions would be quite useful. That one's the part for your thermostat to go into. Now each part of this closure, it's got like a pin film on it to protect it. You can see there we have to peel this off. While I'm peeling this, let's just talk about the enclosure a little bit more. This enclosure is designed for praying mantises. So it has a mesh top. Praying mantis can grip onto that when it is molting. I have had mine drop while doing a, a molt and it can be quite dangerous for them. So having a proper enclosure, if you're getting serious about the hobby is a must have. It has holes in the side for cross ventilation. They just look a lot better than my sweet yard. So like, again, as I said, if you are being serious about this as a hobby, then I would suggest you take a look at some proper enclosures for your mantises or jumping spiders. So there will be a link in the description of this video to Mitch's website, where you can take a look at the enclosure. So we have the rubbers that come with it. And all you do is just hook those on. That stops it coming apart. I'm only going to hook a couple on just to stop it coming apart while I'm assembling it. When it comes to the mantises and the jumping spiders, it's kind of a result of doing macro photography. I got into the hobby of keeping zocket species. Now, some people do comment, why don't I photograph them in the wild? Well, straight to the point, you can't get mantises and these type of jumping spiders in the wild in the UK. The only things we get are the zebra jumping spiders, and they're very small, very skittish, not very pretty, not like the regal jumping spiders or the Comatus jumping spiders. And when it comes to praying mantises, we don't have any praying mantises in the wild. So if I want to photograph a praying mantis for my portfolio, I have to have a pet praying mantis. There's no way around it. So that's why I keep them as pets. Now, obviously that has grown and grown to the point where now I'm considering instead of having my own um, enclosures that I build out of sweet jars, we upgrade them to a decent enclosure like this one. But it is fairly straightforward, so I can understand why Mitch hasn't put instructions in because it's not really that necessary, but it would finish off the product, you know, um, just having a little set of instructions saying what the rubber bands are for, where the screws go, and such and such. Now, when it comes to these enclosures, these enclosures uh, Mitch has designed and made himself, and there's a lot of uh, people out there that are starting to do that now. It is, it's like one of those, you know those 3D jigsaw puzzles you can get? It is like one of those. It 
think you can find that for me. <laughs> Let's go right to the back that has. So I'm missing one rubber band because it just flicked off. So we are missing one rubber band because it just flicked off. And unfortunately it's gone behind the camera, so I can't go and get it right now, but uh, we'll get it after we have recorded. So what I'm undoing now is the mesh for the top. And this is what makes it a, a mantis enclosure because it's got the mesh at the top. Now you just have other enclosures that are designed for spiders. They have a top and side opening. This just has the front opening. I think in the future I will get my hands on one of the spider enclosures. I can think of a pretty nice jumping spider we can put in one of those enclosures. Without name dropping it, let's see if you can guess what it's going to be. I will say to you that it's one of the largest jumping spiders in the world. So, if you know what that's going to be, let me know. Let's hope our mantis doesn't know how to undo screws. Okay, there we go. All done. And last but not least is this little gizmo. So, this is a a thermometer and a hydrometer so this will monitor the enclosure's temperature and humidity there we go so there is our enclosure missing one rubber band because we lost it so i would make a suggestion to mitch is to put in maybe two extra rubber bands just in case you lose one or one break but we have a front opening door and a mesh top for our frame mantises so all I've got to do now is put some decorations in. We've got to put some um, substrate, a couple of de little decorations, and then that is ready for our frame mantis. That's so been a couple of days now. I have put the substrate and the decorations into the enclosure, and I've allowed it to acclimatize. And I've put my uh, orchid mantis in there, also from the Unseen Universe, and he is really happy in that enclosure. I'm really happy with these enclosures, so I am going to be ordering more from Mitch from the Unseen Universe in the future. If you're interested in taking a look at these enclosures, there is a link in the description of this video below, but that's where I shall leave it. I want to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. So recently, we took a look at the purchases that I did at the Northern Invertebrate Show. I got to interest you. So we recently took a look at the purchases that I... No, 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 pick. So this is a thermometer and a... No, what did I say it was?